Let's solve this question on probability. The probability that Hilda, Lucy, and Caroline will be late for breakfast on any one morning are 1 over 4, 1 over 3, and 1 over 5 respectively on any one morning. Part A, using a probability tree diagram, find the probability that 1, none of them will be late to max. 2, only one of them will be late, 3 max. Then 3, at least one of them will be late, 3 marks. Then part 4, at most one of them will be late, 2 marks. Let's go to the first part, that is part A. You're supposed to use a probability tree diagram to find the probability that 1, none of them will be late. Now since we have 3 people here, Hilda, Lucy and Caroline, we shall have three branches. So let me draw the three branches. So those are the three branches. So let me now indicate the probabilities. The first one, the first branch will have Hilda. So for Hilda, I'll use H. For Lucy, I'll use L. For Caroline, I'll use C. So the probability that Hilda will be late for breakfast is 1 over 4. So 1 over 4 is there. So probability of Hilda not being late, I'll write that one as H prime. Given that the probability of Hilda being late is a quarter, automatically the probability of not being late will be three quarters. The sum of probability in any of the branches should give you one. So probability for of Hilda being late is a quarter. So not being late will be three quarters we shall do the same for all the others total in each of the branches should give one so the second one will be for lucy lucy being late lucy not being late represented by l prime so lucy being late lucy not being late then the other one caroline being late represented by c not being late c prime c c prime c c prime c c prime so for lucy Probability of being late is a third, so not being late will be two thirds. Late a third, not being late, two thirds. Then for Caroline, one over five. So one over five, probability of being late, not being late is four fifth. So one over five, four fifth. One over five, four fifth. One over five, four fifth. So that is a tree diagram. Uh, the next thing that you should do is to get now the probabilities here. Good. This one will help us to complete and when you're answering the questions. So the first branch, Hilda being late, uh, Lucy being late, Caroline being late. The other one is HLC prime. The other one is HL prime C. The other one is uh, HL prime C prime. This one is uh, H prime L C H prime l c prime h prime l prime c then this one is uh, h prime l prime c prime so that will help us to answer the questions the only thing that you need to know where you have h that is the probability of hilda being late where we have l probability of lucy being late so you're following the branches and be careful when you're following these branches caroline being late is c so not being late is represented anywhere you have a prime where you have h prime that is a hilda not being late l prime lucy not being late c prime caroline not being late so after doing that now we can go and answer the questions um the first one is none of them will be late none of them will be late is given by this branch that is here this is what represents hilda not being late lucy not being late caroline not being late so this one is given by probability hilda not being late lucy not being late caroline not being late and this one will be just for that branch will be three quarters times two thirds times four over five using a calculator this will give uh, 24 divided by 60 and when you simplify these you get two fifths so that is how you work out the first part none of them will be late so part two of the question probability that only one of them will be late only one of them will be late so we are looking for these probabilities uh, where only one of them will be late so two must be must not be late okay only one we are looking for instances only where one of them will be late. 
like um, here this is one hilda is the only one that will be late here then lucy will be will not be late then caroline will not be late uh, the other instance is here where lucy will be late hilda will not be late caroline will not be late then the other one here caroline will be late lucy will not be late hilda will not be late so those are the three instances so we pick those so these will be given by probability h l c or we have the other one which is a probability that hilda lucy caroline or so those are the three so you can see uh for the first one only hilda will be late and you require only where one of them will be late so the first one hilda will be late the second one lucy will be late and then the third one Caroline will be late. So we just follow the probabilities here. Yeah? So this will give for the first one Hilda late. So this one will be a quarter times two thirds times four over five. Or in probability we add. Then the other one is uh, follow this branch very carefully. H prime. So H prime is three quarters times um, L, which is a third times c prime which is four fifth or another one is h prime h prime which is three quarters times l prime which is a two thirds times c one over five so you're always good to confirm always good to confirm so that one is okay so for this one you'll get uh eight over sixty then for the other one three quarters times that times four over five that will give twelve over sixty plus three quarters times two that times one over five that will give 6 over 60. And this one will give you uh, 8 over 60 plus 2 over 60 plus 6 over 60. Give 26 over 60. And when you simplify 26 over 60, you get 13 over 30. So part 3 of the question. At least one of them will be late. Probability that at least one of them will be late. So what it means by at least one of them will be late. It means either one of them being late or two of them being late or three of them being late and when you go to the probability tree diagram um the only instance where we don't have either one of them being late two of them being late or three of them being late is the third one is the last one the last one probability that hilda will not be late lucy will not be late caroline will not be late that is the only one that is excluded so you you need all the others all these all these represents that at any instance we have one being late two being late or three being late is only the third one so the easier way to do this is to take the sum of the probability in this probability diagram whose one just take one so we just take one subtract probability that none of them none will be late none will be late because you've seen the only the only one that will not be included is the last one probability that hilda will not be late lucy will not be late karuna will not be late that is the only one that we don't, we don't require so we need to add so you can either decide to go the long way which will involve a lot of working you add all the, the these all the others that are here with exclusion of the last one so the simpler way to do it is just to take the total probability being one then we subtract none probably that none will be late so that one will be given by one then subtract probability that none of them will be late and that one we got it in the first part was uh, it was here it was two fifth two fifth so when you do this will be left now by the probability that either one will be late two will be late or three will be late all the others that i've indicated above there so this one will give one minus two over five will give 3 over 5 so 3 over 5 is the probability that at least one of them will be late the last one is the probability that at most one of them will be late at most at most one of them so what do you mean by at most at most means the maximum uh, number of people who want to be late will be one so it means either none of them so probability the none that is zero zero of them being late that is none or probability of one probability of one of them so that is at most one that we only need at instances where you have only none of them being late or one that is what we mean by at most one of them will be late there is a zero are late 
or one is late and um, probability that none will be late we already have that none late we we got that it is here in the first part of the question none of them being late was 2 over 5 so probably that none be late is 2 over 5 then or in probability we say that is addition we do add then probably that one of them will be late one uh, one will be late only one of them will be late was 13 it was 13 over 30 13 over 30 in the this was part 2 only one of them will be late it was 13 over 30 so 13 over 30 so when you add these and uh, you simplify you will get 50 over 60 which will be 5 over 6 and that is how you're supposed to work out that question on probability.